Hey, it's Denise from LumaHat.com and on this video I'm going to show you how to make a rib stitch hat. We're going to start with the usual slip knot. So wrap the yarn around your finger, create a loop, take it off push the yarn through that to create a new loop and put that loop on your anchor peg. If you don't have an anchor peg you can put it on the top but I'd rather not. Then wrap all of your pegs. Okay when you're done wrapping all of your pegs you're gonna half wrap the next one and take the bottom loop over the top and knit off. This is called a U-wrap knit stitch. So you're going to do it to each peg one at a time, half wrap, take the bottom loop over the top and knit off. And you're going to continue knitting all the way back to the front of the loop. Now we're ready to move to row number one. And we're going to use the U-Wrap Knit Stitch like we did when we cast on. So you're going to half wrap your peg, take the uh, bottom loop over the top and knit off. So it's three U-Wrap Knit Stitch and then your next one is a purl. So you're going to take the working yarn, put it under the existing loop. From the top, push your hook in, scoop up the working yarn, get rid of that extra yarn over there. Create a new loop, take the old loop off, put the new loop on your peg and pull your working yarn. And you just keep repeating it. You're going to do three U-wrap knit stitches and one purl. So here we go with those three knit stitches. And once again let me show you that purl. Working yarn under scoop from the top, create a new loop, take the old loop off, put the new loop on, pull. Okay, so say you're using this 41 peg loom, you're going to have one, two, three, four knits at the end of your row. So this is the end of row one, but it's going to be the same for all of your rows. If you have a 40 peg loom, then you're not going to have this extra knit. If you have, you know, a different kind of loom, just make extra knits or extra pearls. It's not going to make a big deal. Okay? Okay, so that was the end of row one, and now we're ready to move on to the next row. And remember that it's going to be the same pattern for the number of rows that you need. And the formula is that for every inch of hat that you want, you need six rows of knitting. Okay, after this first or second row, just remove um, your slip knot off of the anchor peg. And then just keep knitting the same pattern. And I'll meet you someone somewhere around halfway okay so I wanted you to see uh, what the knitting looked like as you progressed in the project and I don't want you to freak out about these loose loops we are gonna fill, fix them at the end so don't be worried about them and I did want you to see what the stitch looks like as we move along And yes, the further you go, the crazier it looks. But trust me, it's going to be fine. Just keep knitting. Now take your working yarn and wrap it around the loom all the way around till you come right back to that front part where your anchor peg is 
um, a little bit past it, like at about the second peg, second or third, I'm sorry, and then cut that working yarn. And then there's more than one way um, to do this. We're going to use the gathered method to bind off, and you can use your hook. All you have to do is come from the top, scoop up the yarn, and feed it through the loop. This is one way to do it. Another way to do it is with a needle. So just thread your needle and then just like the hook, well not like the hook, the hook comes from the top, the needle is going to come from the bottom and come on up and through each loop. All right. So you're feeding your needle from the bottom through the loop and out. Okay, so once you have the working yarn um, and it's been fed through all of the loops, you can take your hook and start taking the loops off the pegs. Finish taking all of the loops off of the peg and once your hat is off the loom, then um, take the needle in and reverse the hat so that you have the inside out and pull your working yarn to close the hat, the top of the hat. Pull on it a little to stretch your stitches and then pull it again on the top until it's closed completely and now um, sew that top so that it's closed. Tighten it real nice and then just go through um, those stitches on the top in a somewhat circular way and then you're gonna pull your string again to close it nicely. Finish going around and make a knot and you can cut off that excess yarn. Start pulling on the hat long ways uh, to give your stitches the right shape as well as uh, to the side to stretch it out really well and you can see how pretty those stitches have worked out. Look for the working yarn and then you're going to find uh, next to it um, another loop that's going in a different direction. If you're not sure, just pull on it and then look for the loop that's going in a direction other than that one. It should be right next to it, right here. Now what you're going to want to do is pull on it ever so lightly and that'll show you the direction that it's going in so you can find the one right next to it and pull on that. And don't get carried away. Find the one next to it, the next one after that one. Pull on it and don't overdo it. Then pull the hat so that you make sure that you keep the stretch. You don't take all the stretch out of the hat. So every time you pull on these loops stretch your hat out again um, because you want to make sure that you don't completely eliminate all of that stretch off the fabric so you know pull the loop a little then pull on the hat pull the next loop and stretch out the hat just a little bit there we go and you can see the difference already that pulling those loose loops has on your hat it cleans up the stitches and gets rid of the curl. So just pull on the hat again and um, just make sure you don't get carried away doing this ever so slowly. Just keep pulling. See all that excess loose loop? When you've reached the end, you'll have um, like two sets of string. One is that beginning end of the um, working yarn and all of that other yarn that you've um, pulled out. So just double knot it and then get your scissors and uh, cut off all the excess yarn.
get the crochet hook and let's weave in the ends. So grab that excess yarn and feed it through like the little knots in your knitting in the fabric and just go up as high as you can. So your hat is done and here you can see it on somebody's head. And you can see how nice it looks. It has a little bit of a slouch. You can make it slouchier. And what's nice about it is unlike most loom hats, when you're done with it and you take it off, it bounces right back. All right, hope you like it. See you next time.